It is neither small nor large, with modest external dimensions, the cabin is spacious. But there are other problems here. From shaking, the glove compartment may suddenly open. This is a common occurrence, it stops holding the lock. They didn't do anything with it until 2006, when an upgraded version appeared, they stretched the springs of the latches, soldered an additional layer of plastic on the latches themselves, making them more toothy. And all this was often in vain. After the revision, there were fewer complaints, but not enough to talk about a complete solution to the problem. Some owners do it easier. They put furniture or haberdashery, used on bags, magnets on the lid. Many body parts are galvanized, so looking for rust is an empty undertaking, unless the car has been in an accident. Even the lower flanging of the doors, where the paint is worn down to iron, does not corrode. The peeling coating on the bumper, in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B junction with the headlights, also does not add gloss, but avoiding pressure washes, you are unlikely to encounter such a problem. If by 70 to 80,000 kilometers the wipers began to move sluggishly and at the same time even new brushes crushed on glass, remove the wiper trapezium, disassemble and lubricate. Miss the moment, fork out for a new one, or even for a gear motor, which can burn out due to increased resistance. Crickets periodically appear in the cabin, and, as many owners joke, it is possible to fight them only with the help of dichlorobos. But seriously, having found the source, we separate the warring elements by gluing suede strips. If by 60 to 70,000 kilometers knocks appeared in the front suspension, then most likely the stabilizer bushings have worn out. Racks are sometimes silent even with a run of 150,000 kilometers, because they are made simply and reliably, two studs with four rubber buffers for each, as on the Muscovites of the 4082140 families. Such designs, devoid of ball fingers, are very tenacious, and when they still have to be changed, be very careful when buying new ones. You can run into ordinary bolts with bushings from toilet bowls. These bushings will fall apart very soon. Ball joints and steering fingers are unlikely to knock even to 150,000 kilometers. If squeaks appeared in front, options are possible. When the suspension moves up and down, the corrugations anthers of the racks or the silent blocks of the upper support cups often creak. We treat by lubricating the rubbing surfaces with silicone grease, in no case, litol or improvised machine oil, petroleum products corrode rubber. If it crunches when turning the steering wheel, look for the culprit in the strut support bearings. Although the parts are primitive, ordinary fluoroplastic rings, it is not easy to replace them. You need to disassemble the rack by pulling the working spring, and before that, remove the jabot. The shock absorbers themselves serve for a long time and even starting to sweat, they successfully dampen the vertical buildup. On some instances, when turning the steering wheel, clicks are heard in the steering column. This is the lock tongue touching the steering shaft. Whoever managed to change the column with the lock under warranty, and whoever had the last one, we recommend not to worry, this is not the knock that will come out. At least, there was no official recall campaign for the defect filed, and therefore, there were also cases of spontaneous blocking of the steering shaft. It happens that the alternator belt starts to whistle. The drive does not have an automatic tensioner, so as the pulleys and belt wear, the tension weakens. If you tighten it without delay, the whistle will disappear and the old belt will still serve. Some craftsmen, having missed the moment, get rid of the whistle by pulling the belt strongly, which we strongly do not recommend. It is cheaper to install a new one than to repair mounted units later by changing bearings in them. Only models with 4A90, 13L, and 4L91, 1.5L, engines were officially delivered to our market. They are reliable and do not have any characteristic sores. Timing drive, chain, so one more worry less. The main thing is to keep an eye on the coolant level, it sometimes oozes through the hoses of the expansion tank. In this case, remove the tank and remove the burr from the fittings, as a rule, it helps. In the F5MG manual box, by 150,000 kilometers, the gear selector shaft sometimes turns sour, this is felt by the tight movement of the lever. The mechanism itself is relatively inexpensive, non-original costs from 3,000 rubles, it is easy to replace it. The clutch does not differ in longevity, it is often changed already at 60,000 km due to wear on the lining of the driven disc. Experts strongly recommend changing the entire kit, along with the basket and release bearing. The whims of the F6SG robot often appear at the most inopportune moment, when there is nowhere to go forward and reverse gear does not turn on. 
Try turning off the engine first, wait a couple of seconds and then try again, sometimes it helps. Otherwise, you will need to flash the electronic components or replace the clutch. In the latter, the driven disc is subject to warping, while the clutch, as they say, leads. If, against such a background, the revolutions of the input shaft exceed 200 per minute, the transmission will not turn on, since the electronics will protect the unit from shock loads. By flashing, the switching threshold is slightly increased, and the problem, as a rule, disappears. If it doesn't help, get ready to change the clutch. Here, when installing the box, it is important to clearly observe the alignment of the input shaft with the driven disc, so as not to bend the hub. It is also advisable to check the beating of the disc before installing it, otherwise all the work will go down the drain. Less often, the clutch release actuator, an electric drive that replaces the pedal, fails. The working rod breaks off in it, and then you can't turn on a single gear. Sometimes the owners themselves finish the actuator by disconnecting the battery terminal immediately after turning off the ignition, which is absolutely impossible to do until the mechanism completes the calibration itself by selecting the extreme positions. As a rule, it takes 20 to 30 seconds, but it is better to play it safe. Waiting a minute. Therefore, always monitor the condition of the battery, because the battery does not tolerate low voltage. In general, a capricious unit. The only good news is that during operation it does not require any adjustment, for example, initialization, like in Toyota, and it self-compensates for the gap when the lining of the driven disc is warm. Of the other nodes, by 100,000 kilometers, the rear hubs will require attention, and at each maintenance, rear drum brakes, on some versions with a 1.5-liter engine, disc brakes were installed at the rear. We change the hubs as an assembly, and disassemble the brake mechanisms clean them of wear products and lubricate the pad beds, be sure to check the linings. Sometimes they peel off with age, and then it is very likely that the brake will jam, as usual, unexpectedly. If they keep normally, then all 100,000 can depart. The resource of the front pads is an average of 30,000 kilometers, and discs are usually enough for three sets of pads. Bottom line, the engine, suspension, and manual transmission turned out to be quite reliable against the background of competitors. But the hastily installed, apparently, for the sake of marketing, robot, which has not yet outlived children's sores, has significantly spoiled the reputation of a good, in general, car.